so in the last episode you guys seen that we took down the lsu tigers they were ranked 18 in the country we went to their home field and absolutely dominated and after that game we had a bye week so we went ahead and checked out our recruiting board here and we are leading with this 76 overall cornerback brandon young right now and we are actually moving up the leaderboards on some of these guys we got joe morris we're in sixth place now we're in the lead for chris davis leonard smith so we got some we got some recruits that we're in the lead right now we might have to mess around with this recruiting board get some better players up here but it looks like most of these players are uh, the 80 is 80 overall is the highest i've seen so far 81 right there so we got to get some more points we got 5,000 of 5,000 right now that we've used already so we're going to continue to build our recruiting board throughout the season but as you can see here brandon young our top recruit that we have we're in the lead for him but he has not expressed enough interest for us to schedule a visit yet so that's kind of tough because we kind of wanted to schedule a visit against the top team and we're going to be going against a pretty good team in our next matchup so with that we're going to go ahead and advance to week three we're going to be playing number 12 syracuse number 12 syracuse if we go out here and beat syracuse which we already played an elite defense so i'm not worried about our defense but syracuse's offense might be a little better there so i don't know how that's going to play out our offense was pretty good we stalled up in the second half but let's go ahead and advance it and check out the top 25 to see any see if anything happened in that week two that we were sitting at home regrouping so we do have one upgrade available for us as a head coach here and we're going to go ahead and throw that on anti-freeze and then we're going to move over to our defensive coordinator we got road closed your players get there get off the blocks quickly to stop the run we got recharge stay healthy fatigue less quickly prevent injuries we're going to go ahead and go with road close there i do want to get recharged that will probably be my next one and then we have to upgrade those three tiers and they absolutely go off after that then our offensive coordinator here we have ball security and up tempo i think we're going to go with ball security we don't want to get any fumbles or anything like that so that's plus one to our carrying and the next level will be plus two all right so before we get into this game against the number 12 syracuse team we're going to go ahead and go to espn and let's just check out the top stories here it looks like georgia took care of number 20 i think they were 23 south carolina gamecocks there so they took care of them and let's see if we see anything crazy texas a&m ended up beating florida or florida clobbers texas a&m 38 to 10 that's pretty crazy tennessee is looking to play oregon so that's going to be a number three team versus a number eight team there that's going to be pretty interesting let's see if anything has changed so far in the top 25 so we got georgia ohio state tennessee michigan nobody has lost so far in the top 10 all the way down to penn state they did have a loss there and they are on a bye week and then utah of course lost to utah state north carolina lost so they moved back to 21st illinois lost against washington absolutely got killed there 38 to 3 and air force enters the top 25 so does texas all you guys that didn't believe in the first game i am playing on heisman offense heisman defense and user versus user but we're not playing any online matches here on heisman five minute quarter length because we are playing offense and defense in this video i don't want to record for two hours so if you guys didn't believe it i didn't even believe that we beat lsu like that but we are playing on heisman so we're and we have the sliders downloaded off college football revamp discord you can check out their discord just you know just search college football revamped and you'll find your way there but you can download sliders rosters all kinds of stuff the dynasty tool so just making sure checking in that we're playing on heisman and we're still getting it done glad to have you with us in the studio i'm reese davis bringing you the ea sports ncaa football 14 pregame show presented by nissan innovation that excites in Birmingham, Alabama, at the old Gray Lady, the Blazers of UAB have taken the field, and they're hoping they can blaze a trail to a home victory today. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. So I don't know if you guys seen that, but in that little intro, it said that Syracuse had the 160th passing defense and 130th rushing defense. We had a 23-yard return there from brown jr but if that's the case and their defense is that bad right now 
we can go crazy against Syracuse if we play like we did against LSU nobody is open we're gonna try to give it to McBride he's gonna drop the ball I do like the UAB Blazers field that dragon in the middle is absolutely crazy I don't know if I'm too crazy about this green and gold McBride up the gut He's going to pick up a 14-yard rush there. I would like to get a little bit more running game going against Syracuse because we had no luck, really, against LSU besides that big touchdown run by McBride. Nowhere to go there. Two-yard loss. Second and 12. We're going back to the passing game here with Hopkins. No one's open. Oh, that was almost an interception. That was almost an interception. So Syracuse defense has come out to play, forcing us to a third and 12 here. Can we get any luck on this halfback screen? We got the blockers nowhere to go. Fourth and 15. We're going to have to punt the ball away. All right. We don't want any crazy. Oh, that was almost a block. We don't want a crazy return here. It's going to be a fair catch behind the 20 yard line. Garrett Schrader coming out. He had a good game last game. 19 for 27 there and one pass and touchdown. So is Schrader going to be more of a pocket passer? Because Daniels really tried to run the ball. They're going to... Oh, yeah. That was a nice little play there. Only going to pick up three yards by Courtney Jackson. And here we go. We're going to the passing game. We'll see how good our defense is against Syracuse. Courtney Jackson again. And I'm going to send the blitz here. It looks like they're going to pass the ball third and one. But I don't know. No, it's a running game. Oh, and we even sent the blitz there as Allen's going to pick up a 14-yard run. So I can already tell you Syracuse is moving the ball here. So it feels like it's going to be a, a lot tougher game than LSU because they didn't even start out this good, I feel like. Little option, quarterback option. He's going to pitch it out. Oh, I didn't think he was going to get that pitch off. Allen's going to get a 16-yard run. So Syracuse has traveled a long way to Alabama to play this game. At our home field, Sanders is going to get tripped up and gets clotheslined. He's going to pick up a yard there, but that's got to hurt. Look at this. This is crazy. That would be so bad. You're, you know, you're running the ball. You trip up. You're falling forward, and a middle linebacker just hits you. Okay another running play here huge stiff arm there first down Syracuse offense is doing a lot better than LSU so far just this is just a strong heavy drive right now they're running the ball not really passing the ball here's the first pass he throws it away but we weren't even guarding those two receivers what's going on kind of worries me that we weren't guarding those receivers because that would have been a huge pickup here oh almost an interception from thomas all right syracuse on a third down play here we i don't think we have to worry about schrader running the ball oh that was a terrible pass and schrader's gonna go one for four on that first possession don't really like running options as you guys know at lsu or at louisville we had a lot of problems running the option plays here and it's gonna continue mcbride tries to break a tackle but he's gonna get stopped for two yards loss we got to get our passing game going here if we're going to have any luck at scoring. Is anyone going to be open? We got Boykin wide open across the middle of the field for 22 yards. Free up offense against Syracuse. Trying to throw him off a little bit. No one is open. We're going to have to throw this ball away. Second and 10. Can we get anybody open? We got our halfback wide open there. Brown Jr., our backup halfback with a huge play there. 20-yard gain. Jermaine Brown Jr. coming in the game, getting his first reception of the year. McBride is back in the game. We're going to try to hand the ball off to him here. He's got the blockers. Crazy spin move. Breaks a tackle. Gets four yards. Second and six. Going to run a screen pass here to mcbride he catches it gets the first down gets the blockers 14 yards there we got a nice little drive going here a little quarterback power move let's see if this works out i don't trust this play i feel like we're gonna fumble it zero yards by hopkins i like running this vertical play down here in the 25 you know 30 yard line trying to hit our tight end but we're gonna go the second quarter zero to zero all tied up with number 12 Syracuse and our defense holds up pretty good we need to get the ball in the end zone on this possession can we get some blockers McBride gonna run over a Syracuse defender there third and one 
And on these third and ones, fourth and ones, I like to bring the goal line formation out and just put the ball up the gut to McBride. And he's going to fall over the first down. Yeah, and that's what we do. Goal line formation anywhere on the field. We're going to have anybody open here. A little motion play to Boykin. Play action. No one's open. Hopkins going to run the ball. Going to run over a defender. And he gets stopped on the goal line. He, he felt super quick right there. But we're bringing the goal line formation out again. But this time, I'm actually going to motion our fullback. Or actually our backup halfback. And we're running a pitch play. Nowhere to go. McBride trying to fight for yardage there. He's going to get stopped two yards behind the line of scrimmage. We are so close to a touchdown here. Only three minutes left in this half. We're giving it to McBride again. Can he fall in the end zone? And he gets stopped on the one yard line. Running a very similar play here to the last one, but McBride's on the right side and he's going to walk in the end zone. And we're going to take the lead in this game in the second quarter it took a minute but we're here we're going to go up seven to zero if we hit this point after touchdown we just got to chip this in nice little pat we got a studio update let's see what's going on we got georgia seven to six with north texas in the second quarter what is going on with the number one bulldogs right now we're going to send a little bit more pressure on this defense this time because they like to run the ball and we got to stop that run there we go there we go we're gonna stop syracuse we're gonna stop allen for a zero yard run so just like lsu they've really relied off their running game let's see if they go back to it here we're sending the pressure schrader get to him harold oh we got that that's the interception oh my goodness and they go three and out what is going on with syracuse I don't know. I was worried about making it to the playoffs. I don't think that we have tough enough opponent, opponents left in the season to get all the way to number four. But Thompson would know where to go there. But we're going to have a good chance to get in the top 25. We got two minutes before the half. We really need to get some points on the board here. Hopkins is going to roll out. That was a terrible pass. That should have been an interception. Boykin at running back, our wide receiver. I don't know what's going on here, but he's going to pick up 11 yards, our wide receiver running the ball. I have to move him over to a halfback. That was a really good run. All right, vertical routes. Can anyone get open? We got a running back, McBride. He's going to pick up three. We'll take it. Our defense has played so well in this uh, season so far. Our offense just has to keep rolling. McBride bounces to the outside, tries to run over a defender, and he fumbles it. Oh, no, McBride. That was going to be a crazy play. What happened here? You ran him over, and it just came out. Oh, my goodness. So now Syracuse has a minute on the board to score, which is a lot of time, and they get the ball back after halftime. So let's see if they pick the pace up here. Schrader's going to run the ball, but we were all over that. That's only going to be five yards. All right, we're switching up to man defense, and I'm just going to quarterback spy here with Taylor instead of blitzing. Quarterback spy. There he goes. He gets wrapped up for a four-yard loss. Second and 14. They're definitely passing the ball here unless Schrader runs a, uh, runs a scramble. They're letting the time run down, which is really weird. You'd think that they would want to go for it, but... They're letting the time run. Oh, the play clock is running down. They're going to get a delay. Okay, they get it off. Cross the middle of the field. We stop them. We could just go into halftime. But I want to make it interesting. I called a timeout. They're going to run the ball here. Pick up a first down. Oh, my goodness. All right, no big plays here. I'm going to get wilder. Going to run a little quarterback spy again. They got a man wide open. Oh my goodness, that may have put them into field goal range. And they are going to line up to kick a field goal with three seconds left on the clock. This is actually a makeable field goal. Let's see. If, okay, he didn't even... Ah, they he didn't even try. He didn't even try. Let's go. We got another studio update. Kentucky beats Louisville. That's not really interesting. Kentucky's 3-0 on the season. Good for them. 14 in the country. I think I'm just literally going to run some quarterback spy here. 
run some zone defense with Key. I feel like they're going to run the ball again. They do. We're all over Allen. Let's go. We're going to do the same thing here. Going to run some zone defense with Wilder. They got a man wide open. Cash goes for it, and he drops the pass. Let's go. We just got to get past Syracuse. We got to get our offensive, like our offensive game going here because we've been struggling, honestly, besides that one touchdown. Nobody is open. Okay. Okay, we got a man open downfield. That's Davis, number six. All the way down to about the seven-yard line. What a huge pass. We're going to try to give the ball to McBride, see if he can punch this ball in. He's got the blockers. Can he run these defenders over? He gets a six-yard run. All right, we're going to try to trick him up. It looks like we're passing the ball here, but actually Hopkins is going to take it. He gets tackled, but he falls forward. Dylan Hopkins is going to get his first rushing touchdown of the season. And that was a pretty easy one. That was a pretty easy one. And we're going to keep doing what we were doing with that zone. We're going to get Taylor. Just run a zone. Oh, a little screen pass to Allen. Nowhere to go. Same thing. We're not blitzing with Wilder. We're just going to run a quarterback spy, a little zone. They're going to run the ball. And they get stopped again. Jawan Price with nowhere to go. I mean, Syracuse is going to have to start opening up their playbook and throw the ball. Nowhere to go. Schrader gets sacked. They're going to have to punt the ball again. Now, if we put some points up on the board here, this game may be out of reach. We're going to audible here. I don't want to run that option play. I'm just not confident in running options right now. We're going to roll out with Hopkins. We got a man wide open. That's our receiver, Palmer. And he's going to drop the ball. Here we go. We're going to give it to McBride. He did fumble the ball earlier, but he runs two yards there. Once we get into those lower ranked teams, we're going to start doing like two or three games an episode. But with these higher ranked teams, I kind of want to show the full game. Oh, we get shoestring tackled for a six yard loss. Fourth and 13 now. The way our defense has been playing, we're going to elect to go for it on fourth down. It's on about the 48-yard line, so we're good if we turn it over on downs. We got a man wide open. Good pass all the way to Boykin. And it works out. Syracuse is lost right now. They don't know what to do. We have 189 yards compared to Syracuse's 97 yards. We knew their defense wasn't great with those stats they've had in this season so far. I don't know how many total teams they are on this game, but I know 160th in passing defense is not good. McBride, wide open. Can he turn the Jets on? He breaks a tackle, gets the first down. Can we punch the ball in here before the end of the third quarter? We're going to give it to McBride one more time. He gets the blockers, and he walks in the end zone. Dwayne McBride having a crazy season. Besides that fumble, he's looking like a top running back right now. Second and three. Let's see what Syracuse decides to do. They're not going to run the ball. No one's open. That, oh, that should have been an interception. Courtney Jackson. Syracuse has finally made it down here to the goal line for the first time in this game. And it looks like they're going to punch one in here. We're sending the blitz. They got a man wide open. Gats in the second with a two-yard reception for the touchdown. And they're going to put seven points on the board potentially. But we still got 21, so I'm not even stressing it. Are we going to have anyone open? Hopkins going to roll out. He's getting pressured again. Stay in bounds. He dives for it, fumbles it. No, that could be terrible. He fumbled it on like the two yard line. Oh, I was trying to slide Hopkins. You should have slid the ball. You dove into the defender trying to go for the touchdown. We just needed the first down. Here we go. First and 10. Sending the pressure. He throws it out of bounds. Schrader, nowhere to throw to there. He just gets rid of it. Second and 10. One minute and 20 seconds to go. We're sending the pressure on Schrader. We almost get the safety. I feel like we should send the pressure again, but I'm going to play a little bit conservative here. Third and 10. They're probably going to go for it too after this. So They got a man wide open. Allen, he gets the first down. We should have sent the pressure. First and 10. A minute and 17 seconds on the clock. Sending the pressure again. We're going to get the sack. Oh, he's still he's still up. 
it took four defenders there to get him down third and long we're gonna send the pressure again with wilder and i'm just gonna send it right up the gut nowhere to go schrader just gets rid of it fourth and 18 and our defense holds up again they're gonna go for it they should and they do elect to go for it here we're gonna keep sending the pressure it is working out schrader is just getting nervous right now he didn't expect our defense to do this to him and that's gonna be a safety we get a safety anyways even if they got it you know they got it past the five yard line we still got a safety on schrader there it is the official results 23 to 7 we got the safety at the end of the game we're not scoring a lot of points but our defense is going off like i said syracuse did not have a good defense lsu had a pretty de good defense to start the season but Syracuse did not have a good defense and we took advantage of that and we stopped their running game. I don't know why they didn't pass the ball more. It, it's a mystery to me, but now they're going to have one loss and they're probably going to drop out of the top 25 after that one. Depending where we are, we may, we may be in the top 25. So look at that after a big win over Syracuse. We're going to jump to number 17 in the country. We jump over the top 25 we're already in the team 17 in the country syracuse is going to drop from 12 to 19th i feel like they should have dropped a little bit farther than that um but it is what it is and we're gonna check out the top 25 just to see if anything crazy happened it looks like miami upset clemson so let's check out the top 25 polls here we got tennessee jumping to number one with a big win over number 10 oregon Georgia's going to handle North Texas there. Nothing else really changes. Let's see who else lost. Oregon lost, but they only went from 8th to 10th. I mean, they lost to Tennessee, which is now the number one team in the country. Clemson going to go all the way back to 13th. We got TCU lost to TTU. I'm not sure. Texas Tech University. And then Syracuse lost to us. North Carolina got a win. And Ole Miss actually is going to move up from are they they lost to texas so texas went to 18 so they went from 24th to 18 for beating number 13 old miss that is pretty crazy old miss got a loss there and then miami moved into the top 25 with a win over clemson so some crazy things going on in the season so far. Like I said, moving on to later in the season, I think we have one more ranked opponent and then we're gonna go into the conference play, which is the way we're playing. I don't know if this conference can handle us at all, but it's always those games that sneak up on you. You know what I mean? So when you have all the confidence in the world, you lose to a team that shouldn't beat you and we're gonna try to manage that. But once we get into those games, we might do two or three games a video. But for now, while we're playing ranked opponents, I wanna show more of the game instead of editing it down and just showing a lot of the highlights. But if you guys like the video, drop a like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna do some recruiting. I'll show you the recruiting board after this uh, episode or in the next episode, I should say. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace, fellas.